Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Side Blogger, and today I have a tutorial that's gonna be kind of basic for some people. Um, it's uh, it has to do with Canva a little bit, but it has to do with some other stuff too. But the Canva part is gonna be super basic. So if you already know a lot about Canva or even just a little bit, you should be totally fine. And this might seem a bit um, redundant for you. Um, but for those of you who are brand new to Canva, um, for you, this might be useful anyway, but that's just a part of the video. Another part of the video today is about Instagram and specifically Instagram for writers. Let me give you a little bit of context. So recently I started a bit of a new venture, if you will. I started a publication on Substack and this is different from uh, from my blog, The Side Blogger, because those of you familiar with The Side Blogger, you know that this blog is about content marketing and digital marketing and online business, online income, etc. Now, the Substack is very different, so I'm assuming it's going to have like a different set of audience even because while the side blogger focuses on the business of blogging and making money with things you can do, my Substack publication, it's called What Do I Write Today, is more going to be focused on the creative writing side of my activities. Um, I can't even call it a business at this point because I'm fairly new to creative writing and I'm, I do have some publications under my byline, but uh, with my byline. But the thing is that it's still very new. I'm still trying to get the hang of things, trying to understand how to go about publications, um, how to go about pitching, and etc etc and how to just go about writing because i have been writing blog posts like content stuff for so long that the creative writing feels like a totally different thing like it's it's not even remotely similar to content writing so this publication what do i write today um is gonna focus on the creative writing journey um that i have undertaken and uh, yeah, so anyway, I was thinking how to get people to my Substack. Now, I'm familiar with Pinterest because when I started the site blogger, I focused primarily on Pinterest to grow my audience and um, drive traffic. But when I started What Do I Write Today, my Substack, I thought, you know, why not try something new? So I thought, how about Instagram? And it was interesting um, trying to find out, trying to do some research about how writers use um, Instagram. And the thing about Instagram is that it's very, you know, it's, it's focused on visuals. But um, I found one publication. It's not exactly a writer's um, Instagram. It's more like a publication's Instagram. And it's called a Creative Independent. It's one of my favorite publications, and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, they publish daily content, daily daily um, resources for creators, and also daily interviews from writers, authors, musicians, artists, creators of all kinds, basically. And I love it. It's so awesome. Anyway, so their Instagram, this is their Instagram, and if you look at it, it feels like they don't have to work too hard because all of the posts are just text-based. And I really like this idea because honestly, I don't have the time to create unique designs every single day or just a few times a week even. Um, I don't have that kind of time. So I wanted something very simple, and it looks like the Creative Independent has something simple, something text-based, and that's the kind of um, Instagram profile that I think I am going to go for because it's just so easy to create with Canva. So in the next section, I just want to show you how to create a similar 
、um, graphic with Canva. So as you can see, it's one post has multiple sliders, and each slider basically、um, has an excerpt from that day's interview.、Um, it's like a couple of sentences, or one or two, three sentences, and that's pretty much it. So how do you do that on Canva? Like I said, if you already know how to use Canva, this is going to be super simple for you.、Um, you don't need to watch the rest of this tutorial. But if you're brand new on Canva, just go to canva.com, create an account, and then when you log in, by the way, it's free. So、um, and the the kind of design that we're going to be doing today, you don't even need a Canva Pro account. A free account is all you need. So, just go to well, once you sign up. Just go to your dashboard.、Uh, just click. You just、uh, you know go to Canva.com, and this is going to be your dashboard. Something that looks like this. A little different because you know I've been on Canva for a long time, so I have a lot of designs here. Yours is going to be a little、um, emptier than mine, but that's okay.、Um, one once you're there. Click create a design on the top right hand corner. If you follow my mouse, the yellow blob. Click that, and then start typing Instagram. And this is、um, you're gonna see some Instagram templates.、Um, I want you to pick Instagram post, the square version. So click that, and this is what you're gonna end up with. This is your square design. And I want you to give it a background color. Like if you see here, the Creative Independent has like a different background color every single day. They have like a different color. It's the same style, but they just change the colors. So what you're gonna do is you're going you're going to come to this design, and then you're going to click that design with your mouse. That selects the design, and then you're gonna see. The background color option come up on the top left, right here. If you follow my mouse, if you click that, on the left it's gonna open up the color panel,、uh, panel, and then just click the Add New Color, and then just choose a color. So you can just click, you know, wherever you want.、Um, let's just say for this design, I want something, something, maybe. I don't know something like this. That works. All right. Now to add text,、um, you can do two things. One of the two things you can either click the T、um, key on your keyboard, like so, and it adds a text box, or you can click the text tab on the left panel, and then click Add a text box. Either one of them should be fine. Once you have a text box, you can move it around with your mouse. Just click, hold, and move. You can even change the width of the text box. So, for example, let's say that I want the text box to be at the top.、Um, and here's this interesting thing: when you start moving this around, you'll see some guidelines appear, magenta guidelines, to kind of help you position your element. So I want to move it to the top left corner, like so, and then I will click the right side of this text box. I will hold it, and then I'll drag it to make it wider. Just let go of your mouse once you're happy with the width, and then I can even change things like if it's going to be left aligned or right aligned by clicking the alignment. Tab here, and then clicking once will make it left aligned. Just know that by default it's usually center aligned, so you have to like keep clicking it to make it different alignment to give it a different alignment. So for now, I'm just gonna have it left aligned, and I will start typing. So for example, the Creative Independent just takes an excerpt from their stories of the day, from their interviews of the day. So, for example, if I were to、um, create some graphics for my stories, so、uh, I will just go to one of my stories and I will pick something that's interesting.、Um, 
I'm not going to go over the whole thing because we don't have too much time. So I'm just going to choose a portion of the text. But, you know, just for your reference, choose something that's actually interesting um, in your story because you want people to click on your profile, click on your link on your Instagram and actually go to your website and actually read your stories. So um, choose something interesting and then copy it and then just paste it on your Canva design. That's it. Now, once you have pasted it, you know, it's there. Now you can change the font, change the font colors if you want. For example, um, let's say that you want to change the font. So just click the font selection here, the drop down, and it will open up a bunch of fonts on the left hand side. Now I have a lot of fonts because I have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, then you will have limited selection of fonts, but even the limited selection is pretty good. So for example, Career Prime, um, that's a free font and it's actually pretty high quality. So you can just change the font like so. You can change the font size over here, or you can just use the plus and minus signs to increase by a pixel or decrease whatever you want and let's just say that just to make it a little different from what we have at the creative independent I want the text positioning to be a little different let's just say that I want the positioning to be at the bottom and actually I want it to be right aligned and I want the text width to be smaller like so And that's it. Next time, if you just save it, you know, next time all you have to do is just come to the same design. Once you open up your Canva, you'll find this design on the home page um, right here. And then all you have to do is click it and then just edit it. And that's all you need to do. Anyway, so once you're happy with your design, you know, just go ahead and download it. But just to show you, you know, how you can edit stuff, you can just click the design and then go and change the color, the background color to something else. You can even change the font color. Um, select the text box by clicking it and then come to text color, click it. And then let's say white because, you know, um, it's a dark background. Or you can even do something cool like, you know, um, choose a light color like so and then choose a darker color let's say like that and then you can even make some portion of the text um, bold just highlight the portion of the text you want to bold maybe um, and you can even change the color of that portion only as long as it is highlighted so maybe choose something like this and you know you have like a different kind of thing going but it's it's kind of similar to what the creative independent is doing um but just by changing um you know the text positioning it's already starting to look kind of different and if you are going to use it use the same design over and over in the future and you don't want the style to change Here's one other thing you can do to the text box. You can select it and then click spacing and then click anchor text box to the bottom. That way, no matter how much text you add here, it's always going to be anchored at the bottom. Like so. Anyway, so these are some tools that you have available to you on Canva. And like I said, if you already know Canva, if you have already used Canva, these are probably super simple to you. But if you're brand new, if you're a writer and you don't really design your own graphics or anything, this is a simple way to, you know, create Instagram graphics for your writing business, you know, where you don't really need to create beautiful photos or beautiful videos. You just want a way to share your words on Instagram. Then this is one of the ways to do so and like i said i got the idea from the creative independent it's not my idea but you know 
I think it can work really well for writers who want to grow an audience for their words. Um, this is a way to share words on Instagram. Um, so this is what I'm trying to do. I am trying to grow my Substack publication uh, where I'm going to write essays and just articles about writing, creative writing, and publishing. Um, and I want to grow my audience using Instagram. And I think this is the this is the kind of style that I'm going for, kind of. Um, and now you know how to design a graphic like this one for yourself. Hopefully this was useful. Bye. Oh, before I go, sorry, not bye. Um, before I go, let me show you how to download it. To download this design, um, first, before you download it, I want you to do something else. Change the name of the design. So right next to your profile picture over here, just click it and then give it a unique name that you remember. So something like Instagram for writing and then download it by clicking share and then click download. You can choose a file type. The default is usually PNG. You can also choose JPEG. PNG is fine for Instagram, so you can just leave it at, at PNG and then click download and this will be downloaded in your or on your computer and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you with a different one soon. <laughs> Bye.